guys, welcome back to another how-to video. It's your girl Chrissy Chella and I'm here with Tona Scott to show you how you can perform a bent over dumbbell row. Now this technique is a must. I want you to perfect it. It's gonna work your back, it's gonna work your core. You wanna make sure everything is absolutely perfect. Remember, like I always say, it is not about the weights that you lift, it's about the form that you perfect. So without further ado, let's get into this video. When you are performing a bent over row, you are working your back, your core, and your biceps. A lot of people also feel it in their forearms, but I'm actually gonna help you avoid it feeling it in your forearms, because I don't want you to pull the weight with your forearms. I want you to pull the weight with your back muscles and also a little bit of your biceps, and controlling the entire movement with your core. Your core is a staple piece for absolutely every single exercise that you do. You need to build your core strength and you need to make sure that you have it in place in order for you to perfect everything else. So, our starting position. Feet should be shoulder width apart, maybe just a little bit further. You wanna bend over. You don't wanna bend down too much into a squat or too high. You wanna bend over so naturally your body will be here. As you can see, my back is nice and straight. I'm not too bent down and squatting down. I'm not too high up and then just using all my hamstring. I'm isolating my core and I'm isolating my back. I'm bringing my body slightly forward as well and my hands are gonna be in front of me. You can have a reverse grip or neutral grip. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do a reverse grip. When you grab your dumbbells, they're naturally gonna fall into a V position as you can see here. I don't have them here. I'm gonna naturally place them here. So this is our starting position. As you can also see, my chest is nice and upright and my head is not up, left or right. I'm keeping my neck neutral and in alignment with my spine. That is absolutely crucial. I do not want you looking at yourself in the mirror when you are doing this. I don't want you to hyperextend your neck. You wanna keep it in alignment always. Bringing your body slightly forward, you wanna retract your shoulders back. Pulling the weight, naturally your chest will come upright. As you can see, my elbows are gliding as close to my body as possible. I'm keeping my core nice and tight, retracting, Hold before controlling your negative back down. Also, like I said, elbow should be as close to the body as possible because you wanna retract back. Squeeze your shoulders before releasing the weight back down. Another thing, remember what I always say, control your negatives. I don't want you just pulling the weight and then dropping it. You're gonna injure yourself and also the purpose of working out it's taking your time, perfecting your form, and actually getting it right. So you don't wanna just pull the weight and then drop it. Control every movement, bring your chest upright. Contract, release. Pull, release. Pull, release. Controlling every single movement. And as you can see, my core is staying nice and tight and straight at all times. I'm not bringing it in and moving my body. I'm keeping it nice and structured and working everything with my back and my biceps. There we have it. Super simple, super effective, and I know that you can do it, so don't be afraid to try something new. I hope these tips and tricks really help you along your journey.